here, let me ask you this. Yes. Because people say, well, Shelly, you causing all this beef. Did you know that this community, this many comedians yes. didn't like each other? Listen, man, I, it's really sad to say this, but uh, our, our, our community, I hate saying community. Community sounds so poor. Are we talking about the black our community? Society. Are we talking about, com are we talking about black, comedic? Um, no, because the white dudes, I'm going to keep it 100, because I know a lot of white comics, and man, they, they ain't beefing like first, that. Hell no. And it, they, I'm not saying they, there's not guys that don't like each other, but these motherfuckers, they, they will hold that solidarity. That white male solidarity, white male solidarity, they will hold it mm -hmm. because they all are on each other's podcasts. Rogan makes these motherfuckers kings. It's Rogan. And even though shout out to Adam Carolla, cause I do his, I'm a regular on his, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, they, they share each other's shit. They get on each other's podcast. Right. They help each other all the time. Ah, <sighs> I don't even want to say this shit, but if it causes controversy, I'm down with it. We ain't shit. <laughs> Real talk. We are fucking whack. Cause here's the problem. We always have air our grievances on public platforms. Okay. This motherfucker ain't that funny. That motherfucker. I'm like, why? I don't understand. What is this fucking addiction of calling each other out in public all the time on who's funny, who's whack? I don't understand. We're the only ones that kind of do this shit. Okay. You know? And of course we watch because controversy is always fun, but I don't know why we do that. We should be on each other's podcasts. We should be like, you know, liking each other's shit, but we no. don't do that. I know some comic, and I I got comics that don't like me, and I'm not saying any name. You know, shit, you shit. I got comics that don't fuck with me. I got comics that talk shit about me, but I never let them know. They've talked shit about me. I've had comics talk shit about me to people in the business, producers who have come up to me and said, "Hey, are you friends with this particular person?" I could say his name right fucking now. And they say, yeah, I know this guy. What's up? Well, he was saying some really disparaging things about you, but we didn't believe him. I think you should give him a call. And I call him. I say, why the fuck are you talking about me? And I've never done anything to you because I don't do anything. Any, you can tell anybody. I, I mind my business, Shannon. I stay in my lane. Right. All I do is say, let me be the best comedian I can be. I do. I don't stab people. I'm not into stabbing people in the back. I guess and that means you're doing pretty shit. good because that's what I've been told. What? It comes along with the business. When just, you're doing well, people take shots they at you. They take shots at me. I've, I've had women tell me shit. Here's the thing. When a dude is talking bad about another dude to a woman, that's bitch shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bitch shit. Yes. I don't do that. I can have a beef with you, right? And if I see a girl that you know, I'm not going to say shit to her about you. That's right. cornball yeah, shit. Well, well, but they do that to me. And I've been told by women. That's what's great is like my relationship with certain women be like, yo, I just want to let you know. You thought that was your man, blah, 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 blah. He, you know, so, mm -hmm. and it's like, we are fucked up to each other. I'm not saying there are pockets of comics that do help each other. Black right. comics. Yeah. Let me not. Cause yeah. then they'll be like, because man, how are you going to say that about the old black? It's the truth. Yeah. We don't help each other. Even on, even on social media, motherfuckers won't like your shit to help you. DL Hughley does that shit for me all the time. He always puts my videos up. If your videos are great, he'll put it on his platform. Mm -hmm. DL always looks out. He always looks out, man, likes my shit. Michael Blackson will like my shit sometimes. Just, just a little, I, I little guess, things here and there. I guess he ain't put mine up because I'm Wendy Williams with a weight set. So he ain't putting up. You're Wendy Williams with a weight set. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time you did send something to me when I imitated you. You say, yeah. man, I thought we was boys, man. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking don't do that shit, man. <laughs> and then that was it. I never heard nothing else. <laughs> no, but, but I, no, but listen, I, I, we, we're not, we need, it, that's always been a problem with us in the first place, though. It is. It's our it unity. Has. Our it unity. Has. Our unity. Can I tell you a story? Sure. I'd love to hear Okay, it. there was a guy I knew who was a big-time drug dealer pushing mad weight. He was one of the biggest in New York City. And, and he was telling us, me and my boy and shit, Artie Fuqua, he was telling us... Um, you know, I ain't, I ain't afraid of shit. I ain't afraid of nothing. He goes, but I went to China to do make this deal with the, the, the mafia over mm -hmm. there, the triads and shit. Yeah. And he goes, I'm talking to these dudes. And he goes, I ain't never been afraid of shit. But when I got into their, to their like headquarters, there, yeah. they were so organized. It was scaring the shit out of me. They were so calm and so organized. It was sharp. And the guy, he's talking to the head dude and he goes, and they're just having a, like a small talk. He goes, you know, the one thing about black people, he says, you guys are 
you're, you're the trendsetters. Everybody copy black people. You're so creative. Your music, your style, everybody like black people. We're jealous of you. But the one thing you don't have is unity. Very easy to break you up. Wow. And this is in the drug game. He says, we don't he even... Lotto. He says, we can't even organize crime. <laughs> wow. We can't even organize crime. Everybody got... Oh, mafia, Italian, right? There's a supposed Russian. gay mafia, Russian mafia. We got Irish mafia. And black folks can't even organize crime. Shame. What we, it's, and it's the same with comics. I'm sorry we do not help each other. And I know guys that talk shit about me. I know guys that shit on me all the time, but I keep it moving. And it's a shame because I'm not going around talking about shit. And I like helping people. If I can help, I'm the first motherfucker to try and help. I do. But some cats will block you out. Don't want you to have shit. You know, there's some, there's some, there's other gatekeepers right. within the gatekeepers. Wow. Yeah. There's other gatekeepers. But they are gatekeepers. Yeah, because they can be like, well, what do you think about this guy? Oh, man. Nah, man. One guy told me and told some some executive that I'm a joke thief. And one thing I don't like is someone call me a joke thief because I'm original. And I said, and I said, don't you ever fucking call me a jokey because you're a joke thief. You're a fucking joke. Don't ever say, but you know, we'll say shit like that. Yeah. I'm calling it out. Hope this gets about 60 million. Cause I, <laughs> I think the thing with us, we yeah. like as long as we, if you're here, we're here. We cool. Yes. But don't get here. It, and you better not get here. Which is cause then, up. cause then I got to try to do something to whittle you down. So you come back to my level or I elevate to your or level. You get here and you pull the ladder up. Don't let anybody else climb. Yes. But my thing is I like when people like you see a guy like Kevin Hart who brings up his boys. They're all eating. Yeah. I love that yeah. shit. He goes, Oh no, you eat the plastic club. You that got a cup. million. Yeah. You got a couple million. You got a nice car. That's the way you do the yes. shit. Yeah. He don't owe all of us anything. It's the people that are working with him, they're eating. You know who else is great? Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick. I did three seasons of Wild and Out. Right. Reluctantly. I did it because he was like, man, when are you going to do Wild and Out? I said, I don't feel like rapping fucking. ABCs and shit, and I'm not good at that shit. He's a no, but we're going to make it to where you can do your impersonation. Nick Cannon's another guy. No one's perfect, but Nick is hiring people, you know, from what I saw. Hiring people, likes to see you do well. Right. You know, stuff like that. We need that. Like Club Shay Shay. Look at how you bring us on here. You might make us kings, Shannon. Damn it. But I guess people say I shouldn't give you guys a platform because I force you guys to air out. You know what's fucked up? Say same with the you know the other TV that we I used to be on, you know the other yeah. TV yeah. But why? As soon as you got big, that's when all the bullshit started. You noticed that too, huh? Yeah, because when they said, "Oh, I know, think Shannon's gay." First of all, if someone says you're gay, that means you made it. You understand? I'm waiting for somebody to say I'm gay. They say, "Well, that's a moist booty ass motherfucker." Like, I made it. They say I was moist booty, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and th that means you're doing well. And right. it's fucked up. Like, why? I don't understand why we get like when you get success, people are upset at you. But there's some people that get up, that get to a level and forget about everybody. Right. Like, I like you didn't get this on your own. Mm -hmm. Why would you like not? I mean, why wouldn't you turn your back? Why would you want to turn around? Once you establish yourself. Bring the people in that you know will do well. Right. On their own. They don't, don't just bring people in. Some people bring you in, you can bring them in and it ain't shit. Right. They ain't doing anything. Right. You bring the people in that you go, oh yeah, that, cause that's what I would do. Right. If I ever got to a level, I'd be like, my, my man, Ruben Paul, who was a fantastic comedian. He opens up for George Lopez. Ruben Paul, Dante Nero. I have Marina Franklin, Yamanika Saunders. I'm letting you all know these names. I would bring the people that are around right. me that I go, they can do the job. They can do the job. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. Your career. Yes. Do you feel you've been blackballed? Do you feel that there have been opportunities that, would, that you should have or could have been presented, but there were obstacles placed in your way? Ah, shit. Um, I don't think... I've asked my agents to ask around if I'm blackballed. I ask, say, please go ask around. Because first of all, one thing about Hollywood, they're not honest. People will be like, we loved you. And then they'll say, yeah, get rid of him. You know what I mean? Right. And I like, I try to surround myself with people who are honest with me. Right. I want people to, but I, people say, no, there's nothing you haven't, I said, did I say anything that was, cause if it's my act, I think that's unfair. I should be able to express myself the way How I want feel? to, but I don't think so. I ain't, I ain't fucking with my wife. 
I ain't flirting with no man. Yo, man, I don't owe nobody no money. Not that you know of. I don't know. That I know. I do know of. I ain't getting no <laughs> man pregnant. No nothing. I'm right. always in my own lane, man. Right. But I don't think I've been blackballed. I, I would hope not. Shit, you know? But I think that sometimes there's an intimidation to certain things. I think there's some intimidation. I don't know. I don't really want to dumb myself down for anybody. That just comes from that Nigerian pride, right. man. What you right. running through? It on pride. So could you have do, do you as you look back? Yeah. Um. You say you've been in the uh, the comedy game for twenty seven years. Yeah. As you look back, mm -hmm. is there anything you could have done differently? Could you have marketed yourself differently? No, I don't think so, man. Because now with the social media, before it was everybody did the same shit. Oh yeah. You go to auditions. You try. You go to auditions, you go, you, you do, you do shows, you go on the road. It was the same kind of schematic, man. You try to rub elbows, you try to get invited to as much shit as you can, but now it's different. Now you can make it choose like you're not putting up any content. You could be doing a podcast, right? You could be now, I'm, but I'm doing all of that. I, I went along with the wind. I said, okay, right. let me start social media. I, I embraced that shit about six, seven years ago. I embraced it. I said, let me get off my ass and do it. And it yeah. worked for me. It really did work for me. It like revitalized the shit I was doing. But as far as like the Hollywood, Hollywood in, in, I'm not really in, in, I'm in, but not in, in. Right. I was like, how do you get there? Right. Then I hear all this creepy shit in order to do that. And you got like, I don't want to be there. Ah, I don't know. I mean, it might be. I don't know if it's true or untrue, but it's always like, ah, how do I get there? Right. You got to, ah, you know what I'm saying? Well, the, 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 what, you mentioned gatekeepers and you say they're, they're, you know, yeah. but is there, is there, you wish someone had opened the gate or given you a, yeah. a help lift God for you? That would up. be great. I know people in positions that I've known for years that are like in position and they just fucking go, ah. They just act like they don't know you anymore. I, I'm telling you, it's like, mm. cr like straight transformation. Right. So this whole time, you was always that dude, just waiting, faking right. it till you make it. Right. And and so you go, oh my boy, he's a he's a, a showrunner right here. I've known him for years when we were coming up. Nothing. I've seen actors get a commercial and act like they don't know you. I said, motherfucker, that was Burger King. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I was a Seven Up guy for right. two years after yeah. Orlando Jones. But I was still the same guy because it's transient. That shit comes and goes. I was a seven up dude. I'm gonna keep it 100. That was a that was a big moment to advertise for a product mm -hmm. in America. Yes, I know all the jingles of all the different right. Doc B a pepper drink. I know all the shit. Now yeah. I'm like a oh, seven up. What? Right. So even though I was getting shit, I still was that guy because that shit comes and goes. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before to something.